morning, everyone. Welcome to this morning's Celtic morning prayer. There's a, a poem on the front of the sheet, if you've got it, by Tom Schumann. There were moments in this day when I needed to hear a voice of hope, a whisper of grace, just a snippet of peace. And every time, every time, there you were with just the right words. So may we hear those voices from God this morning. Let's pray. We gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this yes, is what I dwell in, in the house of the Lord, the Lord all the days of my life, life to, behold to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. temple. The world belongs to God, the, the earth and, and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful to, to live, live together, together in unity. unity. Love and faith come together. Justice, Justice and peace join hands. hands. Open our lips, O God, and our and mouths shall, shall proclaim your praise. praise. To whom shall, shall we, we go? go? You, you have, have the, the words of eternal life. life. And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Lord. So just a moment of quiet before our confession. Holy God, maker of all, have mercy on us. Jesus Christ, servant of the poor, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Holy Spirit, breath of life, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. At the centre of our faith is the belief that God's goodness is at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. Let us in silence confess our faults and admit our frailty. For the dullness of our vision, Father, forgive. For the weakness of our faith, Jesus, forgive. For the joylessness of our living, Spirit, forgive. Holy Three, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, help us to seek, help us to see, help us to serve you. Listen to the words of Jesus, words that we can trust. Don't be afraid. Your sins are forgiven. I love you. Come and follow me. The psalm today is Psalm 69 verses 1 to 5. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in deep mire where there is no foothold. I have come into deep waters and the flood sweeps over me. I am weary with my crying. My throat is parched. My eyes grow dim with waiting for my God. More in number than the hairs of my head are those who hate me without cause. There are those who would destroy me, my enemies who would accuse me falsely. What I did not steal must I now restore? O oh God, you know my folly, the wrongs I have done are not hidden from you. Our Old Testament reading is not that one. <laughs> okay, I keep clicking on the link and it keeps coming back to the same thing. Don't you just love technology, everyone? Okay, let's just go straight to Romans 4. Romans 4, 1 to 12. 
What then shall we say that Abraham, our forefather, discovered in this matter? If, in fact, Abraham was justified by works, he had something to boast about, but not before God. What does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. Now, when a man works, his wages are not credited to him as a gift, but as an ob obligation. However, to the man who does not work, but trusts God who justifies the wicked, his faith is credited as righteousness. David says the same thing when he speaks of the blessedness of the man to whom God credits righteousness apart from works. Blessed are they whose transgress transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord will never count against him. Is this blessedness only for the circumcised or also for the uncircumcised? We have been saying that Abraham's faith was credited to him as righteousness. Under what circumstances was it credited? Was it after he was circumcised or before? It was not after, but before. And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. So then he is the father of all who believe but have not been circumcised in order that righteousness might be credited to them. And he is also the father of the circumcised who not only are circumcised, but who so walk in the footsteps of the faith that our father Abraham had before he was circumcised. For the word of the Lord. Let's pray. How shall we pray this morning? Do you ever wish you could pull the covers over your head, Mother in God, and snuggle back down into the warm bed without a care in the world? We do, and these days maybe more often than ever. So give us that little nudge so we can put out our feet, then our legs, stand and stretch, go to the window and look out, and give thanks to you for this day we have been given, to share hope, to create grace, to offer joy to others. How should we pray this morning? Did you ever mutter from under the blanket, just five more minutes? Jesus, our brother, surely you must have, we often do, in these days of uncertainty. So come and grab us by the hand, pulling us out of bed, helping us to bathe and get dressed and face this day in which we can walk with our God simply by keeping an eye on others. Love the kindness offered to us by neighbours who drop off supplies and continue to do justice, even at a distance. How shall we pray this morning? Did you ever reach out and bash the alarm clock, spirit of our mornings, grumbling under your breath, who left that thing on? That's our response on a lot of mornings lately. So help us to wake up, not to a jangling alarm, but to the songs of joy you offer in these endless days, to the whispers of wonder stirring the trees, to the sound of healing echoing in hospital hallways. How shall we pray this morning? God of our mornings, of every morning, wake us, walk with us, use us this day, we pray. Amen. Let's say the canticle together. Christ, Christ as a light, light illumine, illumine and guide, and guide me. me. Christ, Christ as a shield, overshadow me. me. Christ under me, Christ over me, Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Christ as a light, Christ, Christ as a shield, Christ, Christ beside me on my left and my right. 
Would you join with me as we say the Lord's Prayer together? Our Father Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. God bless you all and have a great day.